is the Fluton County Library System. My name is Jun Mishima. I am an Ikebana instructor and working at the Fluton County Library System. Today, I will introduce Ikebana arrangement. Ikebana is a traditional Japanese art that originated in the 15th century. Flowers and plants are specially arranged in the base for appreciation, appreciation by the people. Ikebana in the beginning spread and then developed only among the highest class of society. With the change of times, however, the floral art began to spread among the samurai class. Second half of 18th century, various schools of Ikebana were developed, numerous books of Ikebana were published, and Ikebana became widespread among commoners. My school, Sogetsu, Sogetsu School, in one of the Ikebana school, which established in 1926, the three most important principles of the Sogetsu school. Number one, flowers can be arranged by anyone. Number two, Flower arrangement can be displayed anywhere. Number three, anything at all may be used as a material for an arrangement. I will show you a demonstration today. Please try the arrangement. Okay, today's one is basic upright style morivana. It's beautiful season, even I am enjoying to see the outside through the window. For Ikebana, seasonal flowers should be used. We experience the changing seasons through Ikebana. Today's material is Rivulet Robin from my back here. This one is a very popular shrub um, around here. It's a season, seasonal uh, bush. Okay. And beautiful peony from the grocery store. First of all, the round container called Suiban, this pin holder called Kenzan. Put Kenzan and the Suiban not into the center because Ikebana's beauty is unsymmetry, not like eco arrangement. First step to, uh, first step is to look at the branches carefully. We found the uh, best view of the branches and make shin, which is the main stem, and the soe, which is the second main stem of Ikebana. I'm going to uh, this branch is to be seen. And cut some leaves off to emphasize the line. Okay. This is the first variation style you learn in this curriculum. We basically three elements. One is a sheen, which is the first main stem. The length is diameter of the container plus height plus half length of that half length of that and cut diagonally to uh, stick it to the Kenzan easily Shin is 10 to 15 degrees on the front left side. See. First, you insert it straight down and then you can tilt it in the direction you want. Next one, let's see, so 10 to 15 degrees. Take 
second is soe, which is second main stem, the length of three quarter, three quarter of shin. Again, cut diagonally and cut some leaves off to emphasize the line. And 45 degrees. Straight and tilt. Now, third stem, hikae, usually use flower for hikae, the length of half length of soe. For flowers, cut flowers under the water, so it will last longer. So don't forget to prepare a bowl of water when you do ikebana and check your front and back. So this side is front. Your side is front. Okay. And 75. Straight and tilt. 75. Okay. The arrangement will lose artistic tension if Soe and Hikae are too far apart. It will lack of fullness if they are too close. Okay, so not too far away, not too close. 45 and 75 degrees. Okay, and now three elements. Please check your elements. Shin, Soe, and Hikae. Next are the Jushi, which is subordinate stems. These stems are added to effectively create depth to the arrangement. Okay. This one for the focal point. This one make dips. And I'm going to use some red, red red robins tick pot, beautiful red. To cover the kenzo and I used some leaves, uh, peonies leaves. Okay, now uh, I made applied moribana style. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the library soon. Bye bye.